there, friend. It's Stephanie Krevins, where I share tips and encouragement so you can fix your hot messes. And today, I want to talk about goal setting. Y'all, this video is coming out in January, mid-January actually, where most of you have probably let your New Year's resolutions drop. I hope you haven't, but you probably have given all the scientific evidence that points to it. So, if you all remember, I did a video in December about not using New Year's resolutions as something that is your anchor for change in your life. And instead, the big question is, is what do you want to commit to, right? And when you talk about commitments, you need to have goals associated with that because those help create clarity. And there's two ways to create goals. And here's one that I want to share with you that I think is especially pertinent, relevant, and fun. Starts with an S. The framework is say it with me, shift. Y'all were going to say smart, weren't you? I knew it. Here's the deal. Smart goals have their place in business and in certain parts of your life, but I want to share with you a different kind of framework that I think adds a bit more levity, a bit more connection and motivation to the goal that is much more meaningful. So shift is a framework that I've created that I love to share with my clients because smart goals are boring. There's a business purpose for them, don't get me wrong, but they're boring. They only communicate so much. And instead, I wanna invite you to the other side where you set really meaningful goals and here's the framework to do it. And here's where the, part of where this lesson comes from. I was in a goal setting class um, in a training um, and we were asked about our motivation to meet certain goals. And it was kind of on a scale of one to 10, a couple of different factors where my scale for meeting these goals was closer to a four or five out of 10. And he's, the trainer asked me why and I was like, I don't know, tell me why. And what he revealed in that class was part of my motivation was so low because the goals weren't meaningful to me. And that was the God honest truth. I was like, shoot, that hit me like a ton of bricks. Those goals simply were not motivating to me. They weren't meaningful to me. I don't know where they came from, but they weren't really mine. And so when I gave myself permission to let go of them and instead create meaningful goals that I really wanted to meet, life got a lot more fun. So here's the shift framework that I want to share with you that I hope will bring levity, inspiration, and motivation to what you're actually committed to. Here's what shift stands for. S stands for simple. How can you simplify that goal as much as possible and say it as few words as possible? H stands for helpful. Does it actually advance what you're striving towards? A lot of goals are disconnected from the big vision. If it's helpful, it's connected to the big vision, to the big thing, the big, hairy, audacious thing you're trying to accomplish in your life. I, intuitive. What I mean by that is it's emotive. When you think about it, you get excited. You might be scared a little bit but it brings up emotion in you, happiness, joy, meaningfulness, whatever that is. If your goal doesn't elicit some kind of emotional response, it might not be your goal to make. F is for fun. Y'all, we take ourselves way too seriously sometimes. Bring more fun into your workplace, into your team, into your personal goals, into your life. It does not all have to be this serious all the time. T is for timed. Never let that one go because if it doesn't have a deadline, it does not get done. Simple as that. Set that deadline for yourself as to when you're going to hit that goal. So friends, I want to encourage you as you're setting your goals, your commitments for 2020 or at any time of the year or the quarter or the month, make it a shift goal. Make it something that is simple, helpful, intuitive, fun, and timed. And it's going to increase your chances that you're going to get it done. Friends, I'd love to hear your shift goals. Wherever you're watching this, share them with us so we can cheer you on, so we can hear what you're working on. And now, it's time to get off the internet and be a problem solver who gets the real work done. And I'll see you soon, my friends.